I'm dog sitting at mom's at the moment, and something I'm doing is uh, washing my coffee pot. I don't do this real often, I usually just rinse it out, but I'm actually taking some time and doing this. This is actually a Bioletti Mocha Espresso uh, and just something there's a kitchen store not far from here and I noticed these the other day uh, this is from Eula uh, is who made this one it actually has instructions for it the one that I've got was given to me by somebody because we used to have coffee together. Uh, they brought it over because I'd make coffee and then they'd share it. <clears throat> um, but this one uh, needs washed. It's not the same. It's similar but not the same. Uh, the seal and the screen there is different uh, similar but not quite the same uh, maybe it's just this one's worn out it's actually showing it's kind of concave probably from the pressure um, but I'm gonna wash both of these uh, and I've, mom has a few dishes here uh, I'm also going to make some coffee and then I'm going to show you some well hold on and then I'm going to talk about this uh, I found these uh, white peppercorns at, in a clearance basket at the local store they also had the glass pepper grinder uh, as well <clears throat> and I got peppercorns as well as uh, the pepper grinder um, there's a little bit of a story behind that we'll get back to that I'm gonna wash the dishes and then we'll talk about coffee and pepper <clears throat> these are the coffee pots excuse me <clears throat> this one like I said was the first one and that's the Bioletti Mocha Espresso uh, made in Italy uh, and the one that I just got and I got it because I like this style of coffee is Primula made in China there is there are differences uh, the spout part where the coffee comes out through the lid this is more rounded this is more uh, square the funnel This one's probably actually stronger. It's got some uh, grooves there where this is smooth. You can tell that this has been used. Uh, I've actually run coffee back through it to reheat coffee, and that's why it's got the stain. <clears throat> the base. Uh, this base feels a lot more substantial than this one. Um, it's a little bit bigger base <clears throat> um, this base I just had to replace my batteries I exhausted them again <clears throat> this base I've used it a lot uh, I've replaced the sill uh, in the bottom of the pot uh, several times as well um, it, I've had it for, I don't know, about 8 or 10 years. It's been on campfires. It's been on camp stoves. It's been on hot plates. It's been on stoves. It's been gas, electric, everything. I, it, <clears throat> it's just a multi-purpose uh, coffee pot. Um, and I've, I've been really pleased with it. Pardon me. 
But I wanted to have something so that I could do, I could take this one and wash it while I used something else. I do, like I said, I do still like the Bioletti better. Uh, the pot's just a hair taller, uh, maybe half a millimeter, eighth of an inch, a little over an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths of an inch. Um, the base here is a little bigger. I don't foresee it making a whole lot of difference in coffee, but because I've got the pots, I've got coffee. This is in a glass container. <clears throat> And this is the coffee that I use. This is an espresso ground coffee. This is a new can. This one's open. Uh, but I'm going to make up some coffee, put it on the stove, and do that for starters. Maybe while I'm doing that, <clears throat> we'll talk about uh, the pepper. Just for the record, I am going to use... Uh, bottles of water. I've had issues with kidney stones and the hard water here didn't help uh, so I've gone to bottled water for uh, drinking and even cooking. Uh, I bring the water up just to the valve there. I don't know if it's visible. There's a little valve right right there under my finger. Bring the water just to that. I got a little bit much in this one. It's a little smaller. That's, uh, that's a safety valve so that you don't, uh, the pressure doesn't get too much and blow up your pot. Uh, the, the funnels will interchange. Uh, this one's actually just a hair smaller. Uh, I'm going to keep them how they, how I normally keep them. Um, when I do this, this is a standard two uh, tablespoon coffee scoop. One, two, one. Two. That's actually a little bit smaller funnel <clears throat> on the new one. Just something that somebody taught me uh, in coffee. Just a sprinkle of salt, very small, helps with the bitter flavor. So the coffee isn't as bitter flavored. You want to be careful that the grounds aren't around the edge because they can damage your sill if uh, you leave them there. Okay, there's the uh, Primula, the new one. This is the original uh, Bioletti. Okay, let's... Gonna put that one back there, that one back there. Gonna put that on, and that on. Those will take probably about 10 minutes. Uh, it's 2.39 p.m., 14.39 is the time. This is my coffee cup. This is a vacuum insulated thermos uh, coffee cup. It's 16 ounces. Uh, it has been around, uh, if you look at the base, how bend up. I've dropped it several times. However, it has a twist on lid. So even with all the times I've dropped it, you can even see the lid is uh, taking some damage. Even with all the times I've dropped it, very little coffee is spilled. Uh, I like this for that reason. It'll keep coffee almost all day too. Uh, but you can, I don't know if you can see the burners. This one just glowed. That one's glowing now. The coffee should start to perk, or to, to cook. But this uh, coffee cup, 
I had one before it and it was actually a stainless but it wasn't the it had a plastic liner and I dropped it and the lid went flying off and a brand new fresh cup of coffee just went out I don't know if you can see it I might have to get better light let's do that I told someone about my coffee cup and they said oh that must have a real nice patina well if with the light you possibly can see the inside the color of the inside of my coffee coffee cup I'm going to transfer this to uh, something else so that the coffee itself doesn't affect the color inside the I haven't even had a sip of coffee yet this morning so that's both full let me get a flashlight. As you can see there, the inside of my coffee cup has a definite uh, burnished look to it. I've got too much sugar this morning. Uh, the steam's still coming out of it because of the heat from the coffee. Um, I rinse it. I do not wash it. I leave that uh, coffee in it. Uh, just because it enhances the flavor uh, by doing that. While the coffees are uh, brewing, I'm going to talk about pepper. And f to start off with, when I was a kid, I didn't like uh, pepper. And my mom tried to send me to a lady to have piano lessons. And the piano lessons really didn't take. I've yet to ever learn how to read music or play it uh, I can actually watch a group playing music guitars and bass and I can tell by where their hands are who's playing what part but I'm not I'm a good coach without being able to actually do the job but uh, the lady that was my piano teacher I think I was about eight she had a daughter that was about I think a year younger than me she was cute but I think I actually had more of a crush on the mom than I did on the daughter. But I didn't like pepper. And she actually introduced me to white pepper. She had just some ground white pepper, not the, the peppercorns, but just ground pepper. And she actually cooked me an egg and put white pepper on it. And I actually liked it. Uh, it's hard to find. You can find it, but it's not real easy to find. I... But since then, I've really grown to like pepper. I, I do like uh, the peppercorns. Um, and it all started with her putting white pepper on an egg for me when I was eight or nine years old. And like I said, I to this day don't know who I had more of a crush on. The piano teacher, the piano teacher's daughter. They were both cute. Uh, I think the daughter was too quiet or I don't know. But... As you can tell, we've got heat under these pots. We're slowly uh, brewing coffee. Uh, nothing there yet. Nothing there yet. Uh, the way these work is it heats the water in the, the base. And then the funnel, the, as the pressure builds, it pushes the water up through. And then it collects it and holds it in the top. When it first starts, it actually looks pretty interesting. Uh, so I, I'm going to leave this. I'm sure you can hear that kind of whistle. It's getting the pressure building. It appears that I didn't get the base and the top tight. I'm getting drips off the side. Although it might be that valve. Okay, here. This one is brewing out beautifully. That beautiful brown molten fluid is espresso. Well, not, but it is. Uh, espresso, these don't have enough pressure to be actually called espresso makers. However, as far as I'm concerned, it's espresso coffee. This is over here 
Bialetti Mocha Espresso. Uh, this is a copy. We've got espresso happening. I'm putting the lids down because they do have a tendency to make a mess if you leave the lids up uh, as they're finishing. It took 11 minutes, 9 minutes to do this. I obviously already have a cup of coffee. I'm not going to drink these. However, I do have an insulated uh, container here. I'm going to put the coffee in this because I can just easily reheat it. Although it should stay warm for quite a while and I drink coffee like crazy. I've actually been told I shouldn't be allowed out of the house without coffee. But I'm going to heat it up with some hot water in it and put this coffee in it. The longer these sit on the heat, the better they uh, do in terms of uh, getting the water out of the base. This, uh, The new one, uh, I believe, is actually done. I've got the container here. I've warmed it. And I probably don't need this funnel, however I'm going to use it anyway. Okay. Look at that beautiful coffee. Okay, there was that one. You can see that there is a little bit of grounds in there. Uh, this is what I call fuzzy coffee, kind of like percolated coffee. Uh, that doesn't hurt you a bit to have that. I'm going to put leave the uh, Bioletti on the burner as it cools. I'm actually going to leave them both there uh, because it'll continue to force up whatever remaining liquid is in the bottom. Uh, this is hot. There's steam coming out of it. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to leave it for as I want or need coffee later. Uh, But it's not really what I expected. Uh, I expected something more like the Bialetti. Uh, the Primula is similar, but not the same. Uh, it definitely spilled as I was trying to pour it. Uh, it forced the lid up. It doesn't have as big of an opening there as this one does. Uh, this one definitely pours better. However, that's not a real huge concern. It For a backup, it works. Uh, what I would actually like to find would be a an electric. They make an electric uh, Bialetti Mocha Espresso. And this is the six shot uh, size. And I'd like to find an electric because I've been, I've done it several times where I've left it on a stove and that's why I've had to replace the gaskets. But for now, I think that's going to be it. We talked about the pepper. We talked about the coffee. We've got the coffee. Uh, we talked about my cool mug. I do have two of these, by the way, just because. Uh, and if you ask, hey, Haps, why do you got two? Well, there is reason. Uh, actually, I lost this one. And I bought another one, and then I found it, this one, before I even used the new one. Uh, but I use this one for coffee, and the other one uh, I use generally for other things. Uh, just real quick, hold, we're holding the thought. 
this is actually another uh, Primula product. Uh, this is a teacup with the uh, strainer attached to the lid with a second lid that goes over it. It doesn't seal really well uh, on the the where it hooks connects to the cup. Uh, it so it's a little bit of a pain, but it's kind of cool though. It's a 12 ounce, I believe, uh, little teacup, and you can take the strainer out or leave it in after you've cleaned it. It doesn't matter. Uh, I dumped mine, rinsed it out, put it back in just so I wouldn't lose it. Uh, but that's a cool little, this is also an insulated, uh, with a plastic base and top. But, uh, for now, I think that's all we're going to talk about. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care. <clears throat> I'm editing video and, uh, just took this off to rinse it out. There is the funnel. And that's the coffee. When these uh, are allowed to cook the way they're supposed to, the coffee just uh, stays right in the funnel. Uh, you saw I just turned that upside down. Kind of reminded me of Dairy Queen. I have to go get a blizzard, I think. But <clears throat> uh, that's the coffee. Uh, I did, oh, just a few drips of water just came out of the uh, pot, out of the base. The pot is nice and clean. I will rinse that. I'm going to uh, take this back home. But <clears throat> I just thought I'd show that the coffee just stays right. Just turn it upside down. I dumped it already. But it stays right in there. Interesting point. Uh, I just cooked, or I just brewed coffee in aluminum pots on an induction uh, cooktop. Uh, my mom had a friend has a friend that just moved and they got a, a Frigidaire induction cooktop where mom's has va uh, knobs. Her friend's is all buttons. And amazingly enough, and I got to find it, uh, hers, if a magnet won't stick to the uh, pans it won't cook because it uses a, ma a magnetic uh, reaction as a safety feature and she said that these are going to be the only thing available in terms of electric within the next uh, year in my opinion that is highly unfortunate I have a hot plate that has the cast iron cover over the old style uh, coiled burners and I love it. This I absolutely hate. This is hard to clean. You have to use a special uh, cleaner, special tools, whatever. But I just thought I'd uh, bring that up uh, because thought came to me with my aluminum coffee pots. I mean, I, they'd be great if they were stainless steel, but stainless steel isn't magnetic either, so whatever the case, they wouldn't work. Thanks for watching. Perhaps cooking. Feel free to share, give me a thumbs up, or subscribe.